We're here at the Aspen Ideas Festival, where on Monday I spoke with Walter Isaacson in a wide-ranging discussion about innovation and artificial intelligence. He said that the key question he thinks right now is exactly what type of relationship we actually ultimately want to build with AI. The most important thing about AI is the concept of whether we're going to build artificial intelligence that will kind of leave us behind, that'll do things on their own, versus augmented. Are we going to have what Licklider called a symbiotic relationship with machines? Steve Jobs was the exemplar of that second camp, which is we have to be more connected to our machines so that they will not develop intentionality or values different from ours. Walter also weighed in on AI's potential impact, both the good and the bad, on employment and jobs. Never in history has technology led to an overall loss of jobs. It just transforms buggy whip makers into gas station attendants, whatever it may be. So the question is not, will we lose jobs, uh, but will our students, the students I teach at Tulane, whatever, be able to stay ahead of the curve to know what jobs of the future will be interesting. Walter Isaacson, someone who spent a lot of time talking with a lot of geniuses, including Walter, uh, including Elon Musk. He's got a book coming out next month just about all of that. I should say in September. We're almost, we're almost in August, so it could be next month. Uh, we should mention, of course, that NBC Universal is the media partner of the Aspen Ideas Festival and Walter Isaacson's a highly anticipated book uh, will be out. Actually, I was, we got the date, September 12th. Uh, in the next hour, I'm going to be speaking to Tony Hsu of DoorDash about how AI is changing his business. So we're going to continue along this theme, Becky. I saw the back book cover of, of the book yep. of Walter's Elon book. He said he wanted to focus on space. So it has spaceship on the back, which is pretty cool, too. Starship, it's, uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty yeah. the whole book is pretty cool. The, the, the cover itself with Elon almost has a Steve Jobsian image yeah, of Elon on the like cover. It, where he's kind of, you know, yep. like, yeah. Anyway, can't wait to read it. I'm sure a lot of other people can't, too. And Andrew, uh, looking forward to these interviews we have today from Aspen, too.